Hello students, welcome back. This two marks question is from gate 2006 exam. Have a look. They are saying station A needs to send a message consisting of 9 packets to station B using a sliding window with window size of 3 and go back and error control strategy. All packets are ready and immediately available for transmission. If every fifth packet that A transmits gets lost but no acknowledgements from B ever get lost, then what is the number of packets that A will transmit for sending the message to B? Okay, so G, B, N is used here. Go back N and value of N is given as 3 because they are saying sender window size is equal to 3. Okay, so you can see we have 3 packets that can be saved in the window at sender side because it is go back N. Okay, whatever is the value of n, always receiver is going to have window size of 1. Okay, that means it is waiting for packets in order. Okay, total packets that we need to send are 9. Suppose these are the 9 packets. What is going to happen if we use this strategy? See, first packet will be transmitted by the sender and also it will keep that packet in window. Okay. Now this packet is transmitted, sender has done its job, it is waiting for this packet to be acknowledged. Okay, sender is waiting for confirmation from the receiver that I have got packet number 1. But even before getting this acknowledgement, sender can send packet number 2 because still we have some slots empty in the window. Okay, so it has sent this packet also. Similarly, without even getting acknowledgement for these two packets, because we have an empty slot, we can send packet number 3 also. What has happened is, sender sent first packet, then it sent second packet. Even though it has not got any acknowledgement, still because window size is 3, we are going to send third packet also. Now we need to wait. Okay, We need to wait that any one of these packets gets acknowledged. That means we want a confirmation that receiver has got some packet. Receiver is always waiting for packets in order. That means in beginning, receiver is wait, uh, waiting for packet numbered one. Okay. Suppose this packet got delivered. Receiver has got this packet number one. It will send acknowledgement. When acknowledgement is received here, that means this packet, packet it has been successfully delivered. We can now discard this packet completely. Okay. This two will shift here and 3 will shift here. Okay. Now we have an empty slot in window. That means fourth packet can be sent. As soon as we get some empty slot in window, that packet is sent and we again keep waiting for any further acknowledgements. Receiver is waiting for packet number 2 only. Only if it receives packet number 2, it will send acknowledgement. Okay. Suppose that packet is received. Packet number 3 will shift here, still they are in window only, 4 will shift here and because we have an empty slot, we can send packet number 5. Okay, so packet number 5 is also sent. See, then gradually this acknowledgement for packet number 3 and 4 will be received. That means receiver has got packet number 3 and 4, it has sent acknowledgements for 3 and 4 also. By that time, 5 will reach here. Okay, now because 5 is here, 6 and 7 will also be sent. Now, sender is waiting for acknowledgement for packet number 5. But they are saying 5th packet will always get lost. We have sent 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th. All these packets have been sent. Actually, 6 and 7 have also been sent. These 4 packets are acknowledged. See, sender has sent all of these packets. But only these packets are received by the receiver. This one gets lost according to the question. Now fifth packet got lost somewhere in the way. What is receiver going to do? Suppose fifth packet is lost, but sixth packet is not lost. Receiver gets sixth packet after the fourth one. But it is waiting for packet number five only. It will discard. So this one and this one, they will get discarded. This is lost. 6 is discarded, 7 is also discarded. 
when there is a time out for packet number 5 sender will see it's not getting acknowledgement from a very long time it will consider that this packet was lost okay and if this packet is lost sender knows that what algorithm is being used if any packet gets lost further whatever packet sender has sent they will be discarded okay now sender knows this one this one and this one have been discarded okay see what is going to happen is one two three four five were sent they were acknowledged but five was not acknowledged that means this one was lost when this one was lost what was the content of window content of window was five six seven everything will be lost okay kind of lost because these two will be discarded and this one will be lost entire window will be sent again so it is five six seven okay that means this entire window is retransmitted okay so currently we have sent one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have actually sent ten packets now suppose this is received five is received six is received and we have got the confirmations okay all of these are confirmed that means we have got acknowledgements but the thing is when these packets are lost we still need to keep a count of fifth packet because every fifth packet is going to be lost that means first packet that got lost was this after this we have actually sent sixth seventh again fifth then again sixth again seventh that means this one has to be lost because from here the count resets from here we'll again count five packets one two three four and five so seven is again going to be lost okay that means when this entire window was retransmitted packet number five got acknowledged six got acknowledged okay seven didn't got acknowledged when we sent packet seven at that time in window there will be eight and nine also okay now we are waiting for acknowledgement of packet number seven but it got lost somewhere what is going to happen this is lost receiver will discard both of these that means entire window will be again discarded so when seventh was lost in window the contents were seven eight nine okay so we have to send this window once again seven eight nine will be sent once again first that means out of all these three we will receive the confirmation for packet number seven first this is confirmed so we can discard it discard it eight and nine will shift by one place we don't have any packet after nine so we will not send anything okay then we'll get confirmation for eight also but see one two three four five this one will again be lost we will not get the confirmation for packet number nine then there will be a timeout after waiting for some time sender is going to suppose that this one was lost and it will resend it so this one is sent again let us see how many transmissions have we made 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so answer to this question is 16 to actually send nine packets we have to send 16 packets okay because some packets will get lost now i hope you have understood this question